what's going on guys as is epic here and today welcome to another minor safety tutorial in this video i'm going to be showing you guys my sextillions rebirthing setup jesus christ the, the, the life number on that guy 10,949 jesus shout out to him go check out his roblox profile follow him send him a friend request do whatever send him a message say hey congrats on 10k plus life on minor saving <laughs> Alright guys, as I was saying in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my sextillions rebirth setup. I'm going to go ahead and say this guys, this is for when you're starting to get into like, when you're starting to need 100 sextillion. For me, I myself have to get 262 sextillion and I'm on my 333rd fly. Yes, I had to do a video on this. So, yeah. Anyways, what you need for this setup is one Atonium Man. If you do not have that, then use the Newtonium. I, I highly recommend the Atonium. You need a Big Bertha, a Giddy Eclipse. Now, if you don't, you, if you don't have a Giddy Eclipse, then use Flaming Strovengers, I guess. One or two should do it. One or two or three, however you want, should cover one of these get of eclipses. See what else you need. You need a catalyst. And then what you need next is now for the BBBs. I'd say around twelve, but I use fourteen because fourteen is the lucky number. And uh what else let's see, you need to be able to do the let's see, what is it called? That placing glitch. You need, be, you need to be able to do that. Alright. What you need next. There are two overlord devices. Now, if you cannot get the overlord device, use any other reborn tier upgrader you have. Like, these are refiner, quantum, anything like that. And what else you need? You need the Tesla resetter. You need one of those. Of course, you need one of those, but I have 17 of those. That's, um, yeah. And, uh, also you need the Astro Predictor. If you don't have it, don't use it. And you need one, at least one Wild Spore. I'd say two or three. And, uh, yeah, let's do this. Anyways, what you do here is you place down the Atonium Mine. Like this lag is real all right so what you do next is you place down your big bertha and now you're getting eclipse just one one is all you need and now you're catalyst now right here what you do is you use the placing glitch to place down around 12 bbbs like so. So you can probably hear the clicking in the background. And I just placed down four in one spot. That was another four in one spot. Alright. There you go. 14 BBBs and uh. Jesus Christ, there's a huge tail of wars. Let me take care of that real quick. Alright, what you do next here is you use the placing glitch to place down at least, I'd say two, because I'm not sure if the Wild Spore works on the Atonium Mine twice, but just, I guess, at least two. I have nine, let's see how many I actually placed down. Two, okay. What you do next is you use the Astral Predictor. If you do have it, then do if you don't have it, then don't use it. Now you place down your Overlord device, like so, and now your Tesla Resetter. Now I'm gonna explain why you need to set the Tesla Resetter for this particular setup. For one, the Astral Predictor. According to the Wikipedia, or I heard I heard this from somewhere. I think it was Laser Laser. I, I keep forgetting the f 
last four digits. But um, yeah. According to the description of the Astro Predator, like for for the Wikipedia, it it takes about five seconds to twenty minutes for the ore to actually be upgraded. The according to the Wikipedia for minor shaping, the Tesla Resetter re removes that time completely. So. Once it hits the Tesla Resetter, if it's already hit the Astro Predictor, then the time thingy, the timer is removed for the ore being upgraded. And uh, yeah, and then for the upload of us, so it can be used twice, so that's times 20 the ore's value. So let's go through this. Atonium, Big Bertha, Getty Eclipse, Catalyst, 14. At least around 12 big bad, big bad blasters around the catalyst using the placing glitch. Now, if you don't, if you cannot do the placing glitch like I have, like I can do it without the auto auto clicker and all that, then use more catalysts to place down the big bad blasters. And then wild spore to extinguish the fire and multiply the ores value. Astro Predictor, Overlord, Tesla, Overlord. Now, once again, if you do not have the Overlord last, use any other Reborn tier upgrade that you have. So, yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. You need, if you have, use your best furnace. I use Dark Magic because it was the only furnace I have. That's good, really. Alright, let's see how fast I rebirth. Alright, I'm gonna put a timer on in three, two, one, go. Okay, that was pretty quick. I just saw how fast I got SP. I don't even need SP. To, I mean, that's insane. And my the ores are really extremely laggy. There's probably a server lag around in the server. Yeah, I probably should do my tutorials on Fravor Island or something like that. But yeah, guys, y'all saw how fast I rebirth. <laughs> I got the money to rebirth. I mean, that's insane. I can't believe I actually discovered the setup. I'm still trying to get the gosh darn blind justice. I'm on my third. 333rd life. I still haven't gotten one yet. That's ridiculous in my opinion. I mean, really. So yeah, I'm stuck with this setup. <laughs> yeah guys, hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you have, show me some love. Hit that like button down below, and if you're new to my channel, subscribe if you want to. Be 100% honest, it's completely up to you. And uh, yeah guys, if you have enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like below and comment if this did help you a lot please do that if you want to i'm not gonna force you to do it but um yeah guys if you want to feel free to copy or modify this setup in any way you want to if you're going to record say hey this setup by azure is epic here's a video link to the actual setup or something like that just say it's about me at least so uh yeah guys hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and i'll talk to you guys later